What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm top player in Risk Global Domination. And it's time for another round of Europe Advanced Progressive Capital. We are in the ultimate seat, pretending to be Arco. This is not a tournament game. This is uh, ranked play. Uh, Cyril Amano. Hey, Pete, I've been watching you for two years now. Thanks, man. Two years, long time. Um, thank you so much for all you've done to grow the community. When I started watching, I was a mere GM taking a card and pass. And now after watching so much, I've learned to embrace my emotion, noob slam people when they take my bonus, and happy to be back <laughs> as a beginner. <laughs> Thank you, Cyril. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> okay. So, blizzards. We have a deep noob pocket that goes out to here. Um, we have an uh, Italy. Okay. So, corners. We've corners this map. So, we have a straight line out into Russia. Straight line out into Russia. Uh, line out. Split. Okay, so the board connects like that. And I'm yellow and I'm last to act. I don't think I take the split orient. I don't think I take split Italy. Maybe I go for turn one Germany? We're not doing Iceland. We're not doing it, guys. No. I don't like it. Yeah, I would like Bavaria if I wasn't in the last seat. But I'm going to pick Switzerland. Because it still kind of guards Bavaria. I'm not... Doing it for the content. Kill guard red. Eh. I want to try. I want to try and take a bono. Yeah, see, there we go. Red's dumb. Maybe I should kill guard red if they're picking Scotland. Lol. <laughs> Alps is great. I think it is the one. Is it called Alps? It's not called Switzerland? Oh, it's called Alps. Okay. Yeah, I like Alps a lot. Yeah. Because people can move through me, but when they do, I'll see it. And I'll probably be able to hold Germany turn one. Maybe even Daenerys Alps? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, I did. Yes, I did speed. Yes, I did. Thank you. Okay, Perpy. Taking some stuff. Mm hmm And every other person <laughs> lost, indeed. <laughs> Switzerland isn't in Italy. This country... Right here. About half of this territory is Switzerland. That's where Switzerland is on the map. The territory on this map is called Alps. I like the pseudo choke my cap has will be great late game. Well, you know we're not going to try and have this game go into the late game. <laughs> the Peatman's not trying to experience the late game at all, ideally. Um, dude, let me hold 12 territories. That would be epic. Red's going to be a turd and take my two in Iceland, though. I like how Iraq is a part of Europe. It's Europe advanced, Marin. That's the advanced part, okay? I've learned all my world geography from Risk. Switzerland doesn't exist for me? Oh, fair enough. Never got into maps? I've always been a big map person. Mm hmm 100% this guy hits Iceland. <laughs> 100%. Oh, yeah. Why don't you blow... Why don't you blow your troops on a fucking noob corner that doesn't do anything either? Six, five, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or leave nothing on your capital, and then someone steals your capital. Classic noob corner behavior, folks. It's going to roll a 5v2 and not even get it. See the die... Oh, no. He left purple behind him.
All right, let's see if this works. It's not a bad turn one. Uh, Arnie328. Hey, Pete, I recently picked up a Lord of the Rings version of the Risk board game. Yes. Middle Earth map is in the game. No. So it's a licensing thing. It's not in Risk Global Domination um, because the digital license does not overlap with the analog license. There's Blue and Dishmicky. Oh, yeah. Totally. I don't want to go that way. I wasn't even thinking of going that way. I hadn't even considered going that way for a second. Mm. Did you just recreate the Holy, Ro Holy Roman Emperor Empire? I, I think I need to get to the, the bottom of Italy, but yes, we're almost there. Give it to them dirty, Pete. <laughs> Holy Roman Emperor needs part of Burgundy, like down here. It was the one in Constantinople. No, that was the Byzantine Empire. Byzantine Empire, um, Constantinople, formerly Byzantium. Okay, we don't expand on the second turn because we expanded very aggressively on the first. We bank some of the troops with a threat cap that goes west. Um, so if I get broken by blue, I just re retaliate and guard stacks, which go east. So what purple is doing is actually going to lock me into no cards unless I have this exterior. Which I'm gonna... Oh no, purple's going around. Purple wants Orion. What's purple? I actually can't tell what purple wants. So I don't know where the cap is. Okay, blue getting 14. So now blue has only two choices, right? They can break me or they can go down and eventually impact purple, which is what I want. I want blue and purple to be at war. And then red's going to come out of the top line like a donkey. It's a really good start. Let's not fark it up. We're the only center cap. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we don't actually know where the caps are. What does red start with? Okay, so greens and trubs, magentas and trubs. I'm getting redonkulous bonos. Red's going to keep pushing out of their pocket for one more turn. So I think based on them capping in Scotland, I want to remove them from exteriors just so that they're not problems for me. I want red to be in a single position as quickly as possible. Yeah, now they're hitting blue. Exactly. Good, 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 good. Let's get all of those exteriors non-existent. There he is. There he is. This, I told you it was going to be a donkey. I don't have to hit that one. Blue's going to do it for me. Did I call donkeyness or what? 
Donkolius. Let's just force Red out of their top line. Or lock them in a pocket. You know, Stadwald? Welcome in, man. Magenta sees that I had all of that, or purple rather, sees that I had all that, but doesn't care. What exactly was that? Does Purple want to go to war with me? We can do that. Hmm. Purple wants Orient, but didn't want to spend. Hmm. So I understand that he wants Orient. But I would much rather force him into blue. Do I take the plus eight then? That's fine. You can have a split orient if I take the plus eight. Let's see if he lets me do that. Where are all the damn caps? <laughs> We're losing... Magenta now. Right. Magenta disconnects. And green also has no bow now. Is green playing? Yeah, they might be in Africa, might be in Russia. Part, large parts of this board I haven't seen. Look, man, if Red wants a, a split plus six, I'll happily take a contiguous plus eight. It would have been my natural expansion anyways, but I didn't want to be too greedy. Hit me. Totally fine. You want that fucking Orient, you can have it. But now Purple's thinking, I need to break this guy. It's okay. Red will eventually come out of here, if, unless Green is in the way. And he's going to hit either me or you. Yeah. This is fine. Get the two first, though. Next time. Good work for purple. How you doing? Naya Ra. Hey, Pete and chat. What to do when the bigger player disconnects and bots out and players won't cooperate to take him out? And it just becomes a game for second. Well, that's what it is. You take second. That's what to do. Kill or be killed. Sucks. Sucks that the ranking system doesn't auto disconnect. Um, players uh, after a certain number of turns or or uh, auto lock their placement. Super shitty, in fact. Mm. Someone's fucking with blue in Spain. Good. <laughs> Blow blue down.
To <laughs> watch out, Red's a big threat. Yeah. <laughs> Does green break me? Well, that's an oopsie doopsie. That was an eight point play. Surely green isn't trying to get himself card blocked up there. Malpractition says the most annoying thing for me is when players don't take cards first turn, it mess up the kill orders. Yes, card skipping is really annoying. So red is just putting troops into blue for some reason. Okay. Let's see if we can find green's capital. So first thing is to hear it is not. So green's gonna get card blocked in this position. Nice try though. Probably it's 18. Totally fine with purple hitting me. As long as he doesn't break. But he's gonna break now, because he's got a set, so he's feeling dumb. And yeah, he's feeling dumb. All right, there we go. We're not gonna be favorable to the guy who gave you a bonus, because we're dumb, and we're breaking everything. I'm at war with purple. Now purple has no troops down here. And we saw him retreat to there. So if we knock this and this, then they're stuck down here. But I have to use my capital to do that because he broke everything. At least I'm gonna get the big set. You think purple Captain Athens? Yeah, probably. So I definitely don't open that. Okay, and is green already card blocked or do they have another card somewhere? Purple we'll needs to chill for one more turn. There's red. All right. And red's going to hit my nine. They don't. Okay. Sure. Good for you. You break me, I break you. Yep, now you have no bonuses. Now you set on three, right? What did you think I was gonna do, you stupid fuck? Oh, I really hate it when people, I give people a fucking bonus and then they shit their pants because they're too fucking dumb to know what to do with it. What happened to all of your shit? Uh, I don't know. Bots out like a bitch. Ha! <laughs> oh, 74? Noise. Dude, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill you so bad. 
I'm gonna fucking kill you so bad. Oh my god. Dude, and watch it not even be an Athens cap. Murder him to death. Is Green dead? Yeah, probably. I have no clue where he is, though. Green might be the one fighting uh, Blue. And this is Blue killing Green? No, not yet. Okay. Magenta's not dead either, notably. Duva's set. All right. This is going to come in handy. They take the 20. Hmm. How close am I to killing purple? See, here's the thing. What does red do? Because I think what red does matters. <laughs> purple thought you took Raja too and wanted to be a hero. <laughs> I give and I give and I give and all they do is shit on everything. Yeah, I know. Why don't they just let me win the game? <laughs> Purple is so dead. I don't know how big he is is the problem, right? I'm not actually going to need a ton of troops right here. You need like 20? Plus the set, I guess. Yeah, I can probably kill him, eh? All right, we'll try and kill him. As long as red doesn't hit me too hard. I think green and blue should stick together because they're glue. <laughs> nice. 42 is not enough to kill purple. Okay. So your old mana is talking me out of it. Purple's <laughs> getting first an order steak. Well done. Lol. Okay. So somehow someone's up here, either magenta or green. So red is going to be setting to, to kill that guy. No, red just punched completely out. Okay, so red's gonna fuck up my plan. Yeah, red's gonna fuck up my plan. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. He's going for London? Yeah, I know. That does not surprise me. All right, let's figure out what's down here. It is a 44 cap. All right, I think I lose everything now. I can't actually kill anybody. He wants Orient again? No. He wants to close his line to me. <laughs> okay, so, so green is up here. Red went past them. Um... Magenta that must be down here in between purple and uh, blue. Blue went to five. Hmm. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe these idiots poke me enough that I can't kill any of them. So the game stalemates on six on six people. There's green. Yeah, I'm just on the red cap. Green is just cap stagger passer. Okay. Red gets 10. 
Red has his split noob corner. It's more satisfying to see purple fume when he's card blocked. <laughs> I'm not card blocking him yet. Yeah, he's gonna break my other bonus. Right. So how come green and red aren't hitting each other? Is the question. Can I hold anything? How much sunk cost fallacy do these players have? Purple's confused because I didn't hit him back. No point prolonging a war with someone on five cards. Purple could kill green if they weren't stupid. They are. Yep. And they're going to take the pocket again. Good job. Okay, split orient this man. So we're seeing two different players go for split bonuses. Right, which isn't really good. So do we think purple and red are the same person? I think that is my, I think that's my call from this game. That purple and red are actually the same guy. They seem to be doing the same sort of stupid thing. And it's too bad green survives, right? The split England is funny. Well, this is similarly to the split Orient. Like, <laughs> I know, I know. What the fuck? That's fine. I'll let you guys be dumb. Dumb people don't have it. Don't have an hour plus game, and they're causing an hour plus game, right? I can't leverage my early advantage to make kills. That's how I usually like to play these fucking settings. Magenta and blue caps. Yeah, agreed. Magenta and blue caps are are here. Okay, green takes the 50. Oh, dude, hit the red cap. Please have enough to hit the red cap. That would make me so happy. Please hit the... Oh, damn it. I was hoping you'd have it. I don't actually think I have to do anything, right? I think these guys will kill each other for me now. Let's take cards. All right, whichever one of you guys is sniping, just so you know, you don't get to fucking chirp me about this game stalemating because you're causing it. I would have killed one of you guys and then I would have killed another and this game would have gone fucking 20 minutes. So if you want to come to me after an hour and a half, after three fucking hours, I don't care how long, and you say to me, wow, that was boring, it is your fault. <laughs> just saying. Oh shit, did I break all- oh no, did I break all purple's bonuses? Oh no! <laughs> Green finding and hitting my only bonus, totally normal play. <laughs> That's fine. I have- I have so much patience. I don't need to win this game. <laughs> but I probably will. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think red. I think red and green are, you know, kind of like in the same corner. So why wouldn't they be at war with each other? Right? Just makes no sense. 
Pizza chat to Pete. That's right. You get to hang out with me. How'd the round go? I fucking got very lucky, Victor Slim. Oh, oh shit. Oh, boop beep. Beep boop. All right, we're chilling out now, guys. How are you? How are y'all doing? The red's a noob, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's just red. This is green cleaning out red from the corner. Are you feeding me the red kill, sir? <laughs> this is the it might take a minute position. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kachactic, I have gray hair. On my oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, green! Oh, green, why? Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen. You think it's a fake feed? I don't think it's a fake feed. I think it's 100% real feed. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing big about that. <laughs> now let's card block this fucking asshole. Well done, moron. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eat all of my fucking cock. <laughs> now do purple. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, that's why you don't take a split bonus. <sighs> See what I'm drinking? I'm drinking iced coffee. Don't worry, Blue, I'm not going to fuck with you. Mm. Peter, it's 6 p.m. Enough with the caffeine. Sorry, Mom. I shouldn't be mean to Becky. I should know better. Purple keeping cap cards, they might be better than first thought. I don't know, man. The vibe I'm getting for purple is they're not very good. <laughs> Please, it says... <laughs> Purple is the Magnus Carlson of Risk. Oh no, Green, are you card blocked? And you're too dumb to figure out how to not be card blocked? Cause you're dumb? I love it. Peter, you're making me worried about you. <laughs> Open Tanya. Mm hmm. All right, so let's try this again. Let's see if Purple is smart enough to let me hold some shit so that I don't have to go to war with them. My money's on their not. Do I retake my bonuses or do I pressure green? Let me do it like this. How much do we think green has? Oh, it was a 70 trade. Where does that 102 go? Just takes a card? Okay. 
Okay, is it gonna hit my 62? Because that would be a real shame. It's gonna break everything I have, right? Let's see if it hits it. Don't hit it. Right, you're just gonna break everything. That's okay, I don't need my bonus. In fact, I kinda want my cap open to you. You know, hypothetically, I might not tell you. All right, what do we think green has on their cap? Here's the only question. It's well played about what? Well played about what? What do you fucking want from me? Rolls likes the attack button. You think I need Gaskin or Grease? Why? Green is so happy he gets another card. That's where I need to set. That's where I very, very much needed to set. Why is Magenta still alive? Because Blue can't kill him. No, I'm failing to kill Purple. I'm trying to kill Green, but it's not going to work because I don't have a set on for her. <laughs> Making my life harder? In what way? Hmm. What is purple, Purple's problem? So Purple is a noob, right? So he's like, I don't know how to play, so I can't let this guy hold any bonuses. I'm going to punish him for trying to let me hold. <laughs> punish him for doing me a favor. All right, let's see if I can actually kill Green. I can't. Damn it. All right, now we still meet. If only I had a set there. Green still needs a car block. Yup.
You don't think that's all a green? Leech says this isn't all of green. It was all of green. I know you're not going to let me hold shit anyway, so there's no point in me guarding it. Okay. That felt good. Fuck you, purple. I want you to hit one of those 30 caps, too. Yeah, open my cap. Nice. Both of those caps suck. They're so shitty. <laughs> you know they're shitty. Roll one, dude. Roll one, you fucking motherfucker. Whoppa! <laughs> Hit that one. Ooh, you know you want the noob corner because you're a fucking noob, right? Yeah! Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Purple, you fucking suck. <laughs> oh, my God. Or wants to play with me some more? Oh, dude, like a flight of shit. <laughs> I cannot believe Magenta's still alive. There we go. Those are those broken dice we know and love. Okay. If it's set on three, keep hitting me. <laughs> keep hitting me, you motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, that's fine. I'll give you cards, Blue. You've been my homie all game. You went double negative with the roll. You always went positive. Yeah, broken dice. We like the broken dice. <laughs> when they go in our favor. Uh... <laughs> I'll give you cards blue. Most definitely. You know what he wants? He wants that. He wants that split orient so bad, right? <laughs> That's what he wants. He wants his bono. <laughs> I'm gonna hide it in there. There we go. Give me, give me the one third. Ooh, no, that doesn't hit me. What? What? Oh yeah. Excellent. Uh. 
Was he infinite trade in Africa? Well, I have infinite trade with blue. As long as blue's down to trade with me, I will trade with blue forever. And I will eventually kill purple. Mm. Okay. I'm, s I'm still kind of shocked that uh, Magenta's down there, though. You think Magenta's trading with uh, purple? So it's like 2v2? All right, we can chill. Four player sale mate, yeah. Pink is in between the two calves. Is it worth taking England? Nah, I don't care about that. I, the only thing I care about is cards. So as long as blue keeps giving me cards, I'm fine. Um, if and when blue stops giving me cards, then I have to worry, right? <laughs> 2v2, but Pink gets plus 50. I know which side I want to be on, yep. Oh, dude, probably pissing me off all game <laughs> it's gonna be a pleasure to fucking murder you <laughs> it's gonna feel real good let's get all the caps up to start. Do I want to move that 20 back? Sure. <laughs> oh, all right. He's not done with me yet. In a manual? And no, you're gonna roll the stacks, okay. Very nice. Just hoping I didn't put troops back there. Okay, not sure about that. Are you in buggins? If you're a long-time viewer, you often reiterate the importance of positivity and love on the show. I understand you started, studied philosophy. So my question is, what ontological views do you hold? And how do those views address the origin of meaning? Uh, meaning is like positive and love. Sure. Um, ontological views. So, um, for me, meaning is kind of inherent. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a rules guy, right? I'm not... Um, I think the, the quality of our existence um, is the thing that gives it meaning. The fact that our existence is temporary, um, you know, the fact that we are limited beings. In, in a way makes it beautiful. Um, so positivity is more strategic, right? The idea of positivity is I want to... aspire to act in a way that benefits me 
Um, in the hope that if I could always act, like I'm, I'm not a good Kantian, right? But in the hope that if I could act in a way to make progress by whatever definition I use for progress, um, sorry, I get distracted by the game. The, um, the way I put it is happiness and meaning for me are derived from the gradual progression towards the achievement of my goals rather than the achievement themselves, right? So it's not about getting goals and it's a lot more about walking the path. I'm not weak. I don't need to, you know what? I don't need to set. You know, they talk about like life's a journey, not a destination. So I, first of all, I have to define progress, right? I have to figure out what are my dreams? What am I going to do? What am I aspiring to do? And then the strategy, how would I go about doing that? And I notice that if I'm as clear as possible about that, and then I walk that path, I'm happier. And purple's going to sue out. I never open um, Dinaridis or Romania there ever. Mm, fat lip. That's our uh, karaoke today. Okay, we can do that. Mm. Uh, Arnie says, do you have a question from the Discord to answer? It looks like we'll be here well. Sure. We can do a Discord Q&A. Uh, where would that be? Discord. Ooh. Is fucking Perpy losing his trading partner? That looks like a bot trade. Nope. That looks like a, I had to get up and take a piss. Uh, <laughs> okay, Q&A. Thread. You guys have any questions for me? We'll throw them up in the Discord. All right, we are a decent amount of troops ahead of Herpy now. And we've set on three. Perpolius. All right, I'm gonna break through again. Yeah. Traco would like to know, hi Pete, I have a question based on a previous game of mine where by loyalty shown on my end, I created an ally who is willing to sue the third place player in order to go first and second with me. Question being, does there become a point where an alliance stops being an alliance, a.k.a. is there any reason I should pursue such a relationship in diplomatic games going forward? As I did feel a bit bad, just because of how well me and my second place ally dominated the board, I'd love to, con uh, to hear your opinion considering your high regard of these diplomacy skills, so thanks in advance. Sure. Um, great question. Sure, I'm glad I have a set on three. Douchebag. Uh, you might as well just quit, General the Mad. You might as well just quit. You know you're not going to beat me. <laughs> you're, you're, you're making interesting TV for the people. I'll give you that. Um, so thank you. You're helping me. You're helping me make the show. And you're going to lose this game. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, diplomacy. So first things first, I think the way the game uses the term ally is a misnomer. Um, So, realistically, the alliance chat doesn't obligate you to anything, so it's, it's less an alliance and more a additional means of negotiation. Get back in your hole. <laughs> so, and if they put it to you that way, if they, if they said... Instead of alliances on, alliances off, it was negotiation on, negotiation off. It gives you nine options. Um, 
Attack me if you need to. I'm sorry I have to attack your territory. Attack X, Y, A, and B. Okay? Plus thumbs up, thumbs down, and heart. Those are the nine options. If they told you that those were the nine options you were going to get, instead of alliance, which some people have very sort of dif different ethics related to, right? Some people might feel obligated um, outside of the rules of the game um, to be loyal to their ally. Um, and I often like to remind people that the, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting with this. Um, is a betrayal a good move? Good, right? Has the double meaning in English, right? The, there's the ethical good, the right thing to do. And if you're playing a game, the ethics of the game revolve completely around the right thing to do being, did it win? And was it legal? Um, and those are the only types of game theoretical ethics I like to engage with. Did it win the game? Was it a legal play? That's it. Hit me again. And, and the reason I like to hang out there is I really want to focus on getting the scrub mentality out of the game, okay? So we have this thought. We have this, like, that's cheese, you know? Um, and if the, we don't get to set the rules, if we do get to set the rules, we get to decide what's cheese, right? We get to set the ethics, overall ethics of the game are the rules of the game. Um, but other than that, right, the, the focus for me, the only thing I care about, um, the only question I'm asking, right, what is the strategy here? Is going to win the game? Um, so we try and take the, we try and take the diplomacy with that in mind. You know, is it going to lead me to victory? Is it going to lead my, my ally to feel betrayed and bad? Yeah, probably. But my joke on the show always, right? What do you mean? My ally got the best possible result he could have hoped for. Second, I'm down to work with anybody, up to and including the point where it might lose me the game. And then I'll kill you. Or, and, and I expect you should kill me. <laughs> and I don't see anyone else, um, oh, sorry, I don't see any other way of looking at it as correct, frankly. Uh, yeah, pink is in a shit spot. Yeah, so purple is trading with, with magenta and I'm trading with blue. And we have a long-term kind of staley, matey type of thing going on. Fair works. Just building up these stacks. They are enormo. Gigundo enormo. Uh, would you add some more communication? Oh, yeah, man. This is nothing like sitting at the table with people where you could see their expressions. You know? Okay, I'm going to punch through again. I understand. Purple, you are one annoying motherfucker. Find the blue capital. Hmm. What is purple trying to do? What is he thinking? Oh, 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 he's trying to get blue out. No, 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 no. Ah, blue fell for it. Okay, blue fell for it. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, you fell for it. Oh. 
make sure purple's going right back there. Alright, and now stack can do some damage. Can you get one of those caps? Let's see it. Oh, no set of four! Shit. Oh, he isn't even. He's just retaining the cap cards. No, he's going to hit me. Right on, man. You need to take one of those terrible back caps and hope you get terrible dice. Let's see. Let's see if he does. That's expensive. That's also expensive. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Hmm. Okay. Good. Well played. Well played, Blue. I'll trade with you forever. You got suckered in. You got horn swoggled. Hmm? Blue didn't give me a card. Does he want me to open his cap? Hey, how you doing, cowboy? Revo accidentally trick blue. I don't think he did it on purpose. I'm not so sure about that. Nobody cares what you have to say. Yeah, I'm down. You can hit me, Blue. Hit me. Yeah. Sexy man. How, how nice are you? No, this is not classic fixed. Oh. This is risk. Uh, Blue wants me to open his capital. I'm fine with that too. I trust Blue. Blue's not being a douchebag. I fully trust out. You don't see how this game progresses other than bot us? Yeah, someone disconnects. Someone suicides and disconnects. Oh, Chad has a question. What was the worst mistake you've made in Risk that you can remember? Ooh, worst mistake I've made that I can remember. I don't dwell on my mistakes. Um, I made a pretty bad one yesterday. I think I threw a, uh, I think I threw a one game. But I mean, I throw a lot of one game, so. There, have a cap card, Blue. Mm-hmm. How have you been unmuted? Shut up. Thought I muted this asshole. Nice. Now he's a cap card, but he doesn't have a cap line.
All right, I gotta use the washroom. Probably gonna hit me again, right? a little breaky break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played round two. I got uh, the one point North America. A gold and silver guy. What does that mean? A jewelry? I've only ever really worn uh, silver jewelry. Why is he manual in it? This is like um, stalling without stalling sort of thing. Psychological warfare, perhaps. Coins are fiat. I thought coins are fiat. Where are the kitties? No kitties right now. Hmm. Someone will quit. Surely not not all of these guys have this much time to spend. Oh, I'm so sweaty. The psychological warfare by wasting multiple shoes every turn for no reason. I think it's more the time, right? That's my read. Yeah, piss away your troops. We did it. We have fully controlled the noob corner. <laughs> Smackerino. Nice. He's not smackerinoing. Put it right in his face. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm sick of this guy. <laughs> Fucking sue me. Sue, sue, Surio. Hey, Luis, thank you. Thank you for the prime. <laughs> Watch this all day? All right. We're making the show, folks. Blue also closes their cap card, so, you know. If I lose my homie, that's when I start to worry. Suicide into purple. The Nubian has more than a card. Um. <laughs> Dude, we got a lot of people watching. Wow. 270 people on a Thursday night. How's everyone doing today? We got a lot of lurkers, too. I got nothing but love for the lurkers, man. Someone uh, someone asked me about that the other day, and I mentioned it in the YouTube. And I was like, yeah, please. You think, you think I feel like anyone owes me anything? No. Like, if you enjoy the show, enjoy the show however you want, right? Like, I, I should be so lucky. I feel ridiculously blessed that anyone wants to watch me. So, Hey, Trachy. Trishy, hola. Thank you so much. 
You doing Gallic? Apparently, Pete wishes I was lurker. Never. Hmm, we have a 62 stack out because... What are we trying to do with that? What is that 62 stack doing? Does it want to roam around? Hey, thank you, SSS Orm, for the sub, man. Thank you. Don't forget 69's breaks down, mates. Hi, y'all. Oh, he's just trying to make a 69 sack, baby. One troop? Puts one troop on it, right? No, it puts a lot of troops in. All right, what's well, Blue's play? What happened in round two? Um, I think I got suicided. I think I got. I think I got targeted by someone. He basically. So I had five cards. Sorry, I had four cards, and um, someone else had five cards. And the guy set on three and killed me instead. And he's like, I don't know how to play progressive. Meanwhile, it was like a perfectly lined up kill. So I think he was full of shit. And I think I got targeted, and I got, um, I got fourth in no bounties. And that's fine, you know? I guess I can't, uh, I guess I can't get a fair game. Oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to, <laughs> trying to force me to open his cap again. Dude, I don't mind giving you fucking cap cards. I am ha You are my homie. I do not mind giving you cap cards. Someone got a plus five turn four? Get out of here. Ridiculous. Okay. All right, we got a thousand cap. Feels good. Per P. Yeah. You want to sue into him? Okay. I'll let you. Wants to help me card block? Blue is <laughs> blue is the friendly sniper. I see. Venus, I love you. <laughs> help me kill this guy. <laughs> we got a non-friendly sniper and a friendly sniper in this game. I agree, deep play sucks. <laughs> I ask, you know, I ask not to be, not to be sniped. But, you know, I can't control the people. You think Vegeta wins this game? Wow. I can't control what the people do. I wouldn't even presume to try. I'll you hold the line so you can commit more to a kill stack. I'd do the same considering how long this lasted. You think? I wonder. Fine one says, it would be interesting to see a tournament where you don't know who's in your round. Yeah, all anonymous. I'd be down. Now you and Blue can take turn slamming purple. <laughs> it's going to be so fucking good. It's going to feel so fucking good when purple dies. Oh, my God. <laughs> Watch this. Let's play next round of fixed out of this, dude. <laughs> that was a rough round for you, eh? Jack says, I think Purple is experiencing fear right now. Ah, unlikely. Purple's having fun. 
Ah, uh, so okay, so it is blue. All right. Blue's on. Blue's on the team. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. Glad everyone wants a Q&A. You had one, right? You wanted to talk about yours, I'm guessing? What was it about relationships? Good afternoon, Pete. I have a less traditional question. Let's go. Not related to risk at all. How did you move past your divorce? I know you've spoken on the subject before, and I really appreciate it, but I'm currently going through something myself, and I'm having a hard time getting over it. Um, I'd like to know how you were able to get over it, if you have completely moved on, just puts this whole stack out. Oh my God. Um, if you've completely moved on from it, if that's possible. My situation is not quite as serious as yours since we were many for, married for years, but it is quite meaningful to me. For context, I liked this girl for years and had been talking to her for five years, never actually dating. And although I had expressed my desire, and she liked me at moments. It never happened. Um, sorry, this is distracting. Although I'd expressed my desire and she liked me at moments, it never happened because of various situations. I don't want to get into too many details because this isn't meant to be a therapy session, but the bottom line is I fell in love with her hard and waited for her after she exited her previous relationship. Um, you sound like a bit of a simp, sir. I'm not trying to diss you, but we can talk about what I mean by that. And I mean it actually, um, productively. Um, but we'll get into it. She said she needed time. And so I gave it to her thinking that we we're on the same page. Apparently we weren't because she'd been talking to some dude for two or three months and just started dating him. I was completely blindsided and feel like I was led on. Yeah, of course. Woman's going to lead you on. Um, she's going to take whatever resources she can get from you, including attention. Um, and not reciprocate unless you insist that she does. Um, I was completely blindsided and I felt like I was led on because some of the things that she told me, regardless, I'm trying my best to move on from this. I've cut contact with her. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, you allow people to treat you how they treat you, right? You can stop that from happening. Um, I've cut contact with her, but I find it hard not to want to reach out to her since she meant so much to me, yes, the romantic ideal of love. Women don't seem to operate that way. Women are, I think, the true pragmatists in relationships. Um, I've cut contact with her, but find it hard to reach out since she's meant so much to me. I'm trying to forgive and move on, but I'm just filled with so much rage because I helped her heal from her past relationship anger phase. Yeah. And she left me with a broken heart to go with some other dude. Is there something that helped you move on from the divorce that I should try looking into? Yes. I'm trying my best just to work on myself by reading a bunch of books on meaning and stoicism and the lot, but I was curious to see if you had any words of wisdom for the situation. As always, thank you for your work. This is a very dense... Very dense paragraph. It's also a story as old as time. Um, thank you, Open Tan Yao. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Epic 700. Okay, we're getting into it. So, Blue wants me to increase my sack so we can double tap. <laughs> How would you know, leech? <laughs> I'm sus of everyone. Okay, so the, the actual question here is how did I get over my divorce? Um, I try not to talk about the specifics of the divorce, um, in as much as it's not really my business to speak about another person's personal business on the internet, right? I do still very much love my ex-wife. I am glad we are not married. And I'm grateful that I was able to end up not married um, without having to lie. That's the big one. So part of the reason I was able to get out of a bad situation, um, uh-oh, 
<laughs> um, part of the reason I was able to get out of a bad situation without losing my house, finding myself in the way you're talking about, right? Sad, hurt. Um, oh, we got to be close, but I don't think I have it. I still want to know, um, is because I was always honest about who I was and what I wanted. Um, here's the cap stack. All right, I'll try. Jesus Christ. That just gives it to fucking Magenta. See? Terrible. Wait, what? What is this? Hold the phone. Interesting. So how do we, how do we talk about this? Get over, how did you move past? That's a great way to put it. How do I move past my divorce? I saw it coming. Um, I saw it coming a mile away. No, Magenta kills me. Right? No. What is happening? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I can't do both a complicated question and um, play this game probably at the same time, apparently. Um, Matuzak, I hit GM I saw on Reddit, man. Congrats. Inspiring you to play. Yeah, you're very welcome, brother. You're very welcome. Closes cap line immediately. All right, now me and Blue just trade until we can squeeze out. Um, did he put the stack back on? Yeah, let's just not trade with this guy. Teamwork for the win. Magenta has less troops than me. No kill if they wanted. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we're just going to run Magenta out of cards quickly. That's it. So, there's something called the dual mating strategy in women, where women, um, both want to, you know, fuck the hot guy in the club, um, and have their, you know, genetically superior, um, babies, um, but also want the reliable um provider right like the the quote alpha versus beta male thing okay i'm gonna get sued by magenta here that's fine i'll eat a sue um evolutionary psychology my favorite yeah exactly so um the evolutionary psychological approach is going to be the one that helps you um you want to think about, and I think it's actually like, there's a way to approach that that like makes it sound super misogynistic, but that's absolutely not the way I mean it. In fact, it's the opposite, right? My ex-wife doesn't hate me either, and it's a fucking miracle. Um, goodbye. Yeah, smell you later. It's a fucking miracle because um, 
Okay, I get one card. Not really worth, but... Both parties being happy in a relationship. Both parties being satisfied um, with the outcome. Right? That's win-win. And that's something you definitely want to go for. in any sort of relationship. Yeah, thanks, Blue. You want to understand the other person. I think one one big mistake men make um, is the notion that women think like you, and they do not. <laughs> right? If you take the Evo Psych approach, you gotta wonder, right? How did she evolve? What did her psychology prioritize? And if you can think about that and you can understand it better, um, one of the things you can do is... You know, actually give her what she wants. So now I have two shitty caps in a corner and I lose the game. Yeah, well, Blue did very well then. Good for Blue. Very, very good for Blue. We should push all the way to a single point in Finland. I don't think it matters, right? There's nothing I can do to recover from this. This is a lost position. Right? There's no way to get through that. Plus, Blue's watching, so this isn't a fair 1v1. I mean, even if I didn't need these two. How do I answer your question? If you understand the person you're with in a relationship, you understand what they want, you ask them honestly what they want, but you don't necessarily trust what they say. Um, you rather trust how they act. Because a person won't necessarily tell you honestly um, how they feel about you. But they will show you. Wabba. Yep. Good game, man. Maybe next time you don't have to stream snipe to win. So, too, too complex of a question for a risk show. Your answers lie in understanding... Who was good? Yeah, these guys are masters. Right on. Your answer lies in understanding what women want. Okay? Your answer lies in understanding that... Either you're with someone or you're not. Right? I was talking to someone for five years. That is some of the saddest. That's some of the saddest stuff I've ever heard. Women willing to string a guy along for years, never give them anything in return. What do you want? You know what you want. You didn't get that. You got lied to, and I understand that you're angry, right? But you fell for it, and we don't have an honest conversation um, in our society about the transactional nature, right? Women will let guys buy them gifts and not reciprocate. Um, so, these are the ways that I would answer your question. You know, how do you get over a breakup? Well, it doesn't sound like you even had one, right? You didn't lose anything. The only thing you lost here was the effigy, the dream of the relationship that you thought that you had. So it's, a, it's quite different of a situation, right? How did I get past my divorce? I grieved. I realized that the love that I had dreamed that we had had died and it was lost. 
So it felt really, really painful. But it felt really, really painful together. Louis C.K. has this joke about divorce where he's like, I always say, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that when people get divorced, but it's not, right? It's a, it's a relief. It's an end of the suffering. Therapy with Pete. That's what I'll leave you guys with. You still contact? Yeah, we're, we're friends. It's exactly what I want. She sends me funny memes and we laugh, right? I still like her a lot. I still love her as a person. But the, the romance died. And that's all I really care to say about that. There are, yeah, there's, there's billions of women and the idea that you can afford to spend time on one that isn't giving you what you want is not acceptable. You have to treat yourself like you're the person who matters the most to you because you do. And if you do, you'll be very surprised to see that women will respect you and want to be with you. And the opposite is also true, right? When you aspire to be with them and you put them on a pedestal, then they treat you like shit. Um, romance is like a game of risk. Well, there's, there's a lot of strategy involved, but you guys remember the first thing I started with was honesty, right? Speak honesty and don't lie to yourself either. So if you can talk to a person, it's, it's a dance, right? A relationship is two people trying to co-create something. Right? You have to account for what the other person wants, who the other person is, what they bring to the table. You have to demand the best of them, and you have to bring the best of yourself. Otherwise, you can't be surprised when it goes to shit. And that's the, that's the other thing I can say. Right? The, one of the big reasons I was able to move past it is I took accountability for the ways in which I was the cause. Right? The ways in which I didn't show up. The ways in which I was shitty. And I have to live with that. And I have to hopefully learn from that. That was a great video. I love you guys. Have yourselves a great day.